All right, let's take a moment and talk about a little light that I really didn't think a whole lot of when I first got it. Just thought it was kind of a cheap chintzy light, but the more I've used it, the more I've kind of liking the features on it, and the more I've found uses for it. So let's take a minute to check out the Phoenix E-Light. It's a real basic light, but it's got a lot of features on it that I think are pretty useful. So let's finish the video out and see what it's all about. Alright, let's go over the specs and features of the Phoenix E-Lite multi-purpose rechargeable light. So we'll start with, it is a plastic body with a plastic integral clip, built-in rechargeable battery that is charged via USB-C. So you open your little rubber port right here on the bottom, you've got your USB-C port. You have a total of seven modes, you've got three white modes, and then you've got a red solid, a red flash, blue solid, blue flash. So your white modes, we've got your 5 lumen. We've got 45 lumens and then 150 lumens. As you can see, those are solid or a, I'm sorry, a nice floody beam. There's really no hot spot. The rated distance on this is going to be... 40 meters usable distance will be right around about half that so in yards you're looking at about 20 25 yards or so so press and hold to turn on you've got white mode low medium high click to cycle through and then you can continue to press and hold it'll turn off and then comes your color modes and then tap to cycle through those the same way press and hold again to turn off from off, if you double tap, the white light will flash twice, which indicates it is now in lockout mode so that it doesn't accidentally get turned on. You can tap it, it'll just flash and let you know, press and hold, same thing. And if you notice, you also have a green light come on, which is your battery indicator. You've got four stages. You've got a green, flashing green, and then I believe it's flashing red, solid red, or solid red, flashing red. I'm not exactly for sure on the order of the reds but that's just your status indicator for your battery double tap again will unlock you now the neat thing that i like about this light and i like really on any light this size is it does not have what they call mode memory so therefore when you turn it on it always comes on in the lowest output so that five lumen white mode even if you go to your 150 lumen mode and you turn it off when you turn it back on, it's in that low mode. I like that for the fact that when you pick it up and turn it on, you don't have to worry about it being in that super bright mode and causing glare or blinding or anything like that if it's pitch black. I use little lights like this all the time for around the house, getting ready in the mornings, looking for things after the kids have been asleep, checking on them, what have you. That way I don't disturb anybody. I don't blind myself or cause a lot of glare. If I wake up at 2 a.m. and need to check something or find something, what have you, I use that light of my light. It's great in a tent, so you're not getting a lot of reflection or anything of that nature. The red modes and the blue modes, I use the red mode primarily the... The red solid I don't use as much as I do the red flash. And what I do is clip it on the back of my backpack when I'm hiking or walking or anything like that. And when I'm around traffic areas, you know, walking on streets or parks, sidewalks, what have you, I'll turn that on just so I get a little bit more visibility to the rear so it kind of draws more attention to myself. 
the blue i don't really use it a whole lot i don't really see much of a purpose for it or the blue flash unless you were say in a large team that was split up in say two different groups you could use the two different colors to help identify the team or the groups so you can quickly look and see what group is working where or this or that also great out on the trail as well you know if you wanted to say you're hiking in a single file line with a group you can put the leader at the front of the pack with a, a red light on or the blue light and everybody else have the opposite color and that way everybody in the line can see the person up front and kind of keep distance keep pace that's how i can see those being used the red mode i know also a lot of people really like for walking into the tree stand or blind early in the mornings as not to disturb the wildlife and then there's also people that swear red light for preserving night vision and not causing the glare. But really, like I said, the five lumen for me, I think, is plenty. And I don't ever really use the red for that because I don't like the loss of depth perception that you end up with when you're using the red mode. Now, this pocket clip, you can clip it in a lot of different ways, whether that is actually in, the po actually in a pocket itself for your pants shirt pocket, backpack, straps, uh, hat bill, what have you, you can, you can use it on there. It also has a slot right there, a little hook as you can kind of see. It does come with a metal split ring to put on there. I just make a little paracord loop lanyard so that I can lace it through the strap on my backpack and then hook it to it so that it doesn't accidentally fall off but let's see i'll show it real quick here on a strap what i'm kind of talking about so if you clip it on there you can have it facing down just give you some visibility at your feet or at waist height as you're doing things just kind of a little bit of ambient lighting I, it grips on this thin material fine. The tooth, the teeth do a pretty well, pretty good job at it. But like I said, I always just make a little lanyard so that I don't have to worry about it. And then for a hat bill, you do have that right there as well. I have seen some bills, a thick bill, it doesn't really grip well on, but that one goes on there pretty well and latches. So that's back up on there pretty pretty snug pretty tight it gives you a good angle i still don't prefer a, a light clip to my hat bill i just use a headlamp but this is definitely one of the better options for that and i i wouldn't be afraid to use it at all and again it just adds to the multi-purpose of it so keychain light bill light just clipped in the pant pocket of your pants what have you now we'll take a look here at our specs so there are your the spec chart on it and then with that we also have the actual runtime chart here for it. your 150 lumen mode you're going to run for the 150 for a very brief period then drop down and kind of stabilize until you get to the 1.6 hour mark or it's going to shut off your 45 lumen mode is a continuous downhill slide until four hours and 33 minutes and then your five lumen mode is pretty consistent until that 20 hour mark and as you can see the three lumen hardly changes at all so that's the runtime chart on the e-light but overall great little light highly recommend it for the price i give these to the kids let them use them and play with them they're cheap they're they're pretty durable i've not i've not seen them tore up any and the kids aren't aren't the easiest on them but you know we were on vacation and we were using one of them one of the kids accidentally dropped his it landed about three stories down on the stairs by the time we got down there somebody had already got it wasn't a big deal because well they're not that expensive so but there you go guys they're available on the website and in the store so i got to thinking a little bit more about having the blue mode and the red mode both as i was editing the video i got to thinking of a few more ideas you know, you could use the blue for in combination with the red if you carried multiples of these little lights. 
I think I keep two of these in my pack. I know for certain one, but I think I keep two. So, you know, you could use them for things like marking distances. You could have a red one set to mark, you know, 25, 50 yards out from camp and a blue set for 75 or 100, you know, for whatever reason that might be. You could use them to mark two different trails or routes. You, know, you get to a fort and you, you want to mark for people coming in behind you at night, you know, hey, the red one will take you here, the blue one will take you here, you know, what have you. You could use it to mark hazards on the trails around the campsite, you know, hey, the red one, watch out by the red light, there's this, by the blue light, there's this. You could use it to mark, you know, if you're in a multi-tent setup, you could put you know, red on one, blue on one, what have you, if you need it to. The red and the blue both for signaling just to give you a little bit more contrast depending on the time of the year or what have you. So I guess there are a few more options to that than what I'd really give it credit to. I'd kind of overlooked the blue and thought that it was kind of gimmicky and cheesy, but the more I thought about it, so I just wanted to share some of those ideas. If you guys come up with anything else that can be used for, feel free to drop it in the comments and maybe it'll help somebody out. Keep your flashlights charged and your knives sharp. Thanks, guys.